So there are different types of polynucleotides. What are the differences? Why don't they just take like something that's super concentrated and just use it for everything? It comes down to tailoring it to kind of the specific use that you want, to a certain degree kind of dealing with the side effects as well. Polynucleotides that we use in aesthetic medicine, and everyone's kind of like, what's, what's this new treatment that's kind of suddenly sprung onto the market? Polynucleotides have been being used since the 1980s in wound healing and wound management. The company that kind of originally came up with them is their original product was called PDRN, which are polydeoxyribonucleotides. And they're very short chain, have a really, really kind of fast onset of action, um, which is very helpful if you're trying to heal wounds. What they did with the the aesthetic products, the polynucleotides, that they basically made longer chains. So they hang around in the skin for longer and they have a more kind of slow and gradual effect, which is kind of what we want in the skin. You know, we're not trying to repair a bashed up nose frequently. You know, we're just trying to improve your skin. So if we get something that hangs around for much longer and stays there doing its job for a little while, then that's a more useful product for kind of aesthetic doctors and nurses.